There you go, mashallah. This guy is ready to take two skies. Well, this uh, black line kind of looked cool, actually. <laughs> you know, while printing, the printer ran out of uh, gray filament and I had to add the black one, which was available. But actually, this kind of looked good. Anyway, when I paint it with my newly coming uh, airbrush, inshallah, it will be very nice colored. So everything is cool. Now the last thing I need to do before flight is add a bit of uh, hot glue here so the cables will be fit. They will, they will not come out and get into the tail rotor. In any case, they are not very loose, but I have to be careful and I have to be safe. So, uh, skids are added, weapons are added, everything is mashallah nice and good. And you can also see that the gun actually moves. Now, I designed it kind of loose so it can move around, but I'm feeling that uh, maybe I should keep it a bit tight because when the main rotors are spinning, a bit of vibration, maybe, maybe the gun will just come back and hang here, which is not good. So for now, I'm just gonna double side tape it inside and keep it uh, and keep it like straight. So, uh, but you, you should, but you should know that the gun is, you know, movable. Uh, you can pan the gun left and right. Here is the size comparison of the new AH1C Cobra with FW450 V3. From nose to nose, you can see the tail is slightly longer, like slightly back. So, about the same size, I believe, as uh, the Bell 206. But mashallah, turns out really nice. Charging the battery, can't wait to fly it. Crafts rebuild, bounce back, that's what I do. Crafts rebuild, bounce back quickly in the dark.